Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel for another 112 scale figure unboxing and review video. Today we will be looking at this Mayfix number 129, The Mandalorian from Disney Plus Star Wars The Mandalorian series. This figure is supposed to be released in December 2020 last year, but it has been pushed back a couple of times and thank god it's finally here and hopefully it won't disappoint me because I'm looking forward for this figure and the promotional image for this figure is quite promising. Once again I purchased this unit from amiami.com and I will share the link down below in my video description so you can check it out if this item is still available in their website. So as usual, before we do the unboxing, let's quickly take a look at its box art design. Just a quick review on its uh, box art design. As you can see here, it's a pretty standard uh, Mayfax kind of box uh, sizing. And uh, we have a white background here and slightly brownish on uh, at the bottom here. And we have some information for this figure, Mayfax number 129 and slightly a graphic over here. And it has a very wide, wide window so you can see the figure and its accessories inside. And uh, this corner we have the title uh, series and Mayfax and Medicom logo and this is the character's name and they're using uh, the figure itself as a cover. At the side we can see this uh, figure itself with a uh, Grogu over here and we have this uh, Mayfax logo and the uh, character's name and the series over here. So yeah. At the back we have this uh, characters a uh, series and name over here and this is the promotional image for what you're getting for this figure and bottom here is just uh, some you know uh, legalese and medicom logo and mayfax logo over here and at the other side we have this a uh, very nice uh, uh, the figure with some sort of uh, action poses and we have the medicom uh, mayfax uh, logo over here star wars the title series the mandalorian and at the top we have some very nice uh, you know artwork for this one and and at the bottom here we got a warnings shocking hazard small part don't put in your mouth edge 15 plus and this is unreadable legalities and everything this is actually the authenticity sticker so you can see that so it's pretty hard to you know replicate that we have barcodes and everything over here so yeah, let's unbox this figure. I'm gonna cut it from the bottom and open it from here. So you'll be getting a bunch of stuff and that is pretty nice, you know, design and you can see that this is the way yeah I'm opening this way and as you can see here there's a pretty nice uh, background of there and as you can see the artwork is very impressive yeah and then for the figure this is the figure in the plastic tray and uh, let's try to open it oh before we do that they give us some uh, manual over here so I might suggest that you uh, actually read it and yeah understand how to assemble uh, the bits parts of uh, this on this figure right so yeah and then this is the figure in the tree so let's try to open it okay this is the first layer and uh, I think we got the second layer over here so this the, is the actual uh, figure as you can see that okay what I'm going to do is I'm going to you know put this all out and we can take a look a bit more closer and detail so let's do that guys this is uh, the first glance of for this figure and as you can see 
it holds pretty well and what I can say is the joint seems to be a bit more improved and uh, there's no loose joint or anything like that I think uh, Mayfax has uh, improved a little bit on that uh, department and as you can see here this is the accessories that we got for this uh, uh, release and there's some uh, part that needs to be assembled such as the uh, fire effect and it's 10 and then he has this uh, interchangeable uh, gauntlet uh, which has the rope coming out from it and I think it's used for uh, catching his bounty and yeah we'll definitely we'll look into it a little bit more later in the video and then we have this uh, interchangeable uh, pauldron and waist belt over here uh, and definitely this uh, figure can be detached on the torso area so we will look into that a bit more later too in the video before we before we look into the figure details let's talk about it, its accessories in a bit more detail and the first one I want to show is this uh, accessories uh, the child Grogu and this is actually uh, non-articulated figure it doesn't have any uh, joint or anything like that it doesn't have any you know uh, details it's just a figure with a uh, very nicely sculpted uh, to his body and uh, face sculpt as you can see here and comparing him to the SH figure arts one he stands a little bit uh, smaller than the SH figure arts and the SH figure arts has a little bit more uh, detail in terms of his uh, uh, pen application and so on because this was uh, actually a single release uh, it's not together with the Mandalorian but in this case uh, Mayfax intention was just to put him uh, as a accessories for Mando so yeah uh, pretty much it's okay um, I'm, I'm glad that he's included with this release at least the second one I want to talk is this uh, fire effect and as you can see here it is very nice uh, fire effect for him and it's actually have a kind of a uh, hue color from here to here blue uh, white and uh, orange orangey type of color and it, it is translucent and at the bottom here we have the holes over here so you can actually uh, uh, put some stand so this is the stand that it is included it can be disassembled and assemble back and you can change the different heights for this uh, effect as you can see here like that and if you think that is a bit too too short you can make it higher you just put this extension and make it a bit more higher so the next one is this base for him and I'm pretty sure that this is uh, come in handy and I love Mayfax for giving us this stand so yeah and then the next one is this uh, gauntlet this is actually uh, I think it's a steel rod over here because it doesn't feel like plastic I don't know maybe maybe I'm wrong but it just feels like a steel rod over here so what you can do is you can actually swap this with the right hand as you can see here it has R2 to it so it's definitely for the right arm so uh, you can just pull this out and pack this in with no issue it doesn't come out easily it stays there pretty good and you can just pull this uh, hands over here and just pull it in so you can have that kind of effect you now so the next one is I want to talk is their interchangeable hands so we got this uh, type of uh, you know storage for these hands uh, I love it and this is a uh, relaxed hands as you can see here pretty good details to it and yeah the a second uh, relaxed hand as you can see here and we have this uh, giving instruction or pointing at something hands as you can see here the details all right and then we have these closed fist hands uh, but it does have some holes over there as you can see that so this is actually for the knife and speaking about the knife it has some very good detail there as you can see that 
it does have some uh, different in color yeah it does have some details and you can actually attach it slot it in like that so it's very nice so next up we have these uh, trigger finger hands and it's actually for this uh, uh, blaster and speaking of this blaster you can see the design to it it has a pink color I think they have uh, I don't know maybe it should be silver or black color but I don't think it's supposed to be uh, pink in color maybe they get it wrong when finalizing this uh, design you know but this is what it is so yeah just accept it so uh, it can be you know slot in here like that with no issue as you can see here that's very nice still with this uh, blaster I just want to show that it can be a uh, slot in into his holster gun holster here as you can see here it's the same uh, kind of design for uh, on the figure so yeah so let's talk about this uh, piece over here it's uh, actually an alternate pauldron and waist belt for for him and the 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 differences is just this this part over here and this part over here and on the figure there is there is slightly different kind of design as you can see here and it doesn't have that piece over here so yeah so i will swap it later moving forward to the interchangeable hands we have this uh, again trigger finger hands but this time it's for the m band rifle and as you can see here uh, you can actually uh, slot it in like that and it fits perfectly you can see that and then lastly we have this uh, you know to support the, the rifle over here so you can see that like that so that is pretty nice and talking about the rifle let me explain just a little bit about the rifle rifle so this is the mban rifle it has a very good detail to it the paint job is not sloppy it's on point and i love the details that they use the coloring and all the you know it doesn't uh uh it cannot be disassembled like the shp gross one it's a one piece and i love it because it is one piece so you will not be worrying on missing parts to it so yeah that is very good back to this uh, pauldron over here it has some connection to it because this rifle has some uh, holes over here and here so either or you can actually uh, slot this uh, tiny part over here into these holes And then you can slot it in inside this uh, part over here so ultimately it will look like this if you swap it so let's see how I'm going to you know replace this uh, pauldron and waist belt over here thing is you just pull just be careful hold the leg and the torso area slowly and then can be detached it's supposed to do that so that's why it's easy to uh, you know take it out and then you just replace this uh, one in and put it back like that so and again you do the same uh, method that I just show you that is how it's going to look so that's all about the accessories and now let's take a look at its figure details looking up close and personal I think this figure looks pretty great it does have that natural look to it the proportion seems uh, spot on and it's pretty accurate to the series and as you can see here the silver color 
it doesn't uh, pop out that much as the SH Regards one, the chromey looking, but I'm still good. Uh, I, I like uh, the way that uh, it turns out to be. Uh, the chest armor is actually a separate piece from this area, and then the strap together with the belt, and this one is a very soft plastic to it. And I like how the way that they designed this uh, hip cover over here together with the gun holster and as you can see for the SH Pigrats it uh, does uh, looks like it's going out outwards you can see that because of the hip design on this area the articulation design so it tends to you know move out that way but Mayfax has done a bit more cleaner and slender as you can see that it's more straight downwards and that is a pretty good uh, design in terms of this hip uh, articulation over here so that's why Mayfax has a better looking in terms of the natural look not like uh, SH Regards 1 as you can see that so that is the differences between this area so as you can see there are more details on the belt we have uh, these pouches uh, painted a different kind of brown over there and then we have this detonator and one is missing probably his has been using it and I would prefer that they give us just a complete set like this like this one like the SH Figuarts one and at the back we have more details to it a dented area on his uh, plate armor over here and I think talking about the cape let's talk about the cape the cape uh, feels much more uh, you know rough and I love how this design uh, look and they implemented this uh, bandy wire but only stops at his elbow here so I think they should he will benefit better if we have a complete bandy wire to his cape over here that is my opinion and looking at his uh, shoulder armor and his uh, gauntlet over here he has a little bit more bigger on the shoulder armor but slightly uh, smaller on the gauntlet as you can see here comparing him with the SH Regards one you can see it the difference and yeah for me uh, I'm okay with both of the design it doesn't uh, really bother me that much uh, it's just uh, on how the company tries to implement the uh, articulation to 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 the design itself that is the important stuff and how you're going to get it articulated uh, for posing and dynamic poses so uh, at, at his lower uh, parts over here I love the guard on his tie over here it does looks uh, different also with the SH Figurats one it has this uh, detail but uh, as such regards is much more uh, recognizable on the Marhon uh, insignia but uh, he his uh, the Mayfix one doesn't uh, look that a uh, detail but I for me it's still okay I'm, I'm okay with it and for the joint here you can see that you can straight up l look at the this clean uh, articulation on his knee while the SHF has this uh, cover for the knee pad over here alright that one I think they should actually follow the SH regards it look, looks weird like that you know but at the back you can see that they are sculpted this uh, articulation joint over here together with this uh, you know overall uh, wrinkles uh, I love the wrinkles that they uh, done and throughout the body and everything I love how the boot design is and he can articulate it f further than the SH Figures one because the SH Figures one has this uh, thing hindering you can see that it's hindering while Mayfax one can get much more uh, range of articulation over there so that is a uh, plus point for him and I think he will uh, do fine with a uh, dynamic poses 
moving to its articulation as you can see his head can turn left and right no problem tilt side to side to that extent and then we have him looking downwards that far and looking upwards that far it's very nice looking you can see that and it has a gap over there you can see the neck so it's pretty good uh, 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 you know view over there and then on the uh, middle part over here he has a lower torso articulation uh, but I think because of this one it might be hindered and you can use the waist articulation it sits on a ball joint but that is how far you can bend because I've tried and it pop out so uh, be careful and bending uh, leaning backwards I think that far that's pretty good and then on the arm articulation he has this butterfly joint to it you can see that very nice very nice butterfly joint it can rotate 360 it can you know open his arm wide to that extent okay it doesn't have the bicep swivel but at the lower bicep we have this swivel to it so you can swivel and we have double jointed elbow over there and the thing is this discounted can be uh, rotate as well but I'm not recommending you to do that so just uh, you know swivel at his lower bicep over here that'd be nice and we have uh, a hinge side to side rotation on his hands over here so it sits on a ball joint and Mayfax has this you know uh, standard uh, pack for his hands and this one sits fixed to this uh, shoulder you cannot open it like the SH regards one and then you can turn around like this on his waist over here definitely this one is hindering so yeah this pauldron is hindering the movement but you can you can get that uh, you know uh, articulation you can see that and for his leg over here we have the drop down method just a little bit and we can slightly kick out that far like that see that and then we can kick forward till that extent and then kicking backward until that extent because this one is hindering the uh, range of articulation and then we have double jointed knee over there we don't have this uh, or we do have this swivel over here at his knee although together with his tie over here and then we can swivel at his uh, boot over here hinge up and down the boot so swivel uh, pivot ankle pivot yes it has he has an ankle pivot so that's pretty great so definitely this figure can do dynamic poses I believe that he can and I will show you just a bit later in the video so now let's take a look on how he stack up with my other collection of Mandalorian figure first up we're going to look at this SH figure arts Mandalorian and the black series Mandalorian and the black series one came with Grogu and the Prem while the SH figure arts came separately with uh, this uh, Grogu and his Prem and definitely uh, the SH figure arts has a better quality than the black series and I think it's the closest competitor to Mayfax and uh, SH figure arts has a lot more uh, accessories as you can see it has an interchangeable uh, shoulder pad we have the jetpack and we have the tracking uh, devices on on him and then I think in Rogu has a little bit more uh, detail to it and it comes with a prem 
and definitely Mayfix is you know uh, trying to do a little bit more like SH regards but uh, I think their intention is to produce a better uh, Mandarin figure and I think that uh, man this Mayfix has a little bit better on his uh, proportion cape and I think um, it's uh, acceptable for Grogu it's just an accessories it doesn't have any articulation but I'm okay with that and the one thing that I cannot accept is this blaster that is you know have a pink blaster on it so that is a uh, downside for Mayfax but other than that I think it is a uh, more superior than uh, SH regards in terms of articulation and post ability and for black series this is a decent figure for its price point and I think if you just have this uh, Mandalorian from the Black Series, you might want to have either the SH Regards or Mayfax as your personal high-end collection for Mandalorian himself. And as for me, I think both are great. I will post them uh, differently. Uh, I mean, of course, I will uh, post uh, this um, SH Regards with the jetpack because he's the only one that got this jetpack and maybe for the Mayfix one I will post him uh, maybe a little more different and more uh, dynamic poses so yeah and for your information this uh, SH Figurats uh, figure I have mod the neck piece so it looks much more taller than the Mayfix one but if it was a default figure it would totally have the same height just for your information next up we can see this Star Wars Black Series the Amuro and the SH figure arts uh, heavy infantry Mandalorian and as you can see they scale pretty well there uh, Mandalorian has Dinjarin has a bit uh, uh, in between the heights of these two figures and that looks uh, pretty great I love how this scales pretty well with a mixed figure so we have the men, uh, Black Series, we have the Mayfax and we have the SH Frigots totally can blend in uh, perfectly in my opinion. More female characters that I've included here and as you can see um, he stacks well with this Cara Dune and Bo-Katan and I think uh, they look pretty well together and both of that figure is from the Black Series. We don't have any iteration from other company yet but I think soon we will. And then comparing him to the bad guys such as this Star Wars Black Series Moff Gideon and IG-11 and as you can see uh, Moff Gideon is slightly uh, smaller or shorter than the Mayfax Mandalorian and uh, you can see IG-11 stacks pretty high there and I don't know if this uh, scale is right for the IG-11 because SH Regards has a little bit more taller IG-11 and I couldn't wait for the IG-11 that Mayfax is going to produce next year. Hopefully we won't get any delay but that is just a Mayfax thing. They tend to delay their figures on and on. So just uh, wait patiently. I will try to review that figure next year. And adding to the comparison we got this SH Figurats Return of the Jedi Boba Fett and SH Figurats Return of the Jedi Luke Skywalker. And I think both of this figure uh, is pretty uh, scale well with the Mayfax Mandalorian and I think Mayfax will definitely going to uh, put up a uh, Boba Fett figure from the Mandalorian series. Just cross your finger that they will because they already have Mayfax Boba Fett in the line and I think they will definitely produce more um, of Boba Fett figure and as for uh, Luke Skywalker I'm, I'm just hoping that uh, whether SH Regards or Mayfax could produce this uh, uh, Luke Skywalker from the uh, Mandalorian series so that would be great in the collection so guys that is about the comparison and I think uh, this Mayfax Mandalorian fits well with other lines too and if you want to mix and match with um, those uh, figures you can do so 
These are some poses that I did for him to give you a glimpse on how well it stack up with the dynamic poses and as you can see you can actually borrow some accessories from other lines too it will look compatible and then because of its uh, fun factor and uh, pose ability wise I think it is much more superior than the SH Figurats one and because of that I'm going to give this figure a very high marks on this particular area. In conclusion, I think Mayfag has done a pretty good job on their Mendo figure. They have fixed their loose joint on their figure. This one feels very sturdy and the QC issue is uh, not that much, I think. And although we don't have the jetpack on the accessories, uh, it still feels like a good figure to me. And the proportion wise, the colorization for this scheme is still pretty accurate to the series in my opinion and for those who doesn't have the Mendo yet you can actually pick this one up I totally highly recommend it to you know to you to get this one because it is a really uh, good figure in my opinion so that is the end of my review so if you feel this video is informative enough please click the like button and share it and if you feel you want to support me please subscribe to the channel and don't forget click the bell notification button so you will be notified once my video comes live so once again thank you for watching until we meet again in my next video sayonara